If we are marked to die, we are enough to do our country loss. And if to live, the fewer men, the greater share of honor. God's will, I pray thee, wish not one man more. By Jove, I am not covetous of gold, nor care I who doth feed upon my cost. It yearns me not if men my garments wear. Such outward things dwell not in my desires, but if it be a sin to covet honor, I am the most offending soul alive. God's peace I would not lose so great an honor, as one man more, methinks, would share me the cost for the best hope I have. Oh, do not wish one more. Rather proclaim it through my host, that he who hath not the stomach to this fight, let him depart. We would not die in that man's company that fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when this day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. And say tomorrow is St. Crispian's day. Then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say these wounds I had on Crispian's day. All men forget, yet all shall be forgot. But he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names familiar as household words in his mouth. Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester. Be in their flowing cups, freshly remember it. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crisp and Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day till the ending of the world. But we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers, for he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Be he ne'er so vile, this day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in England, now abed, shall think themselves a curse they were not here. And hold their manhoods cheap. While Zenny speaks, that fought with us upon San Crispin's day.